तो हेलो एंड वेलकम टू रोबोटिक्स विथ ओम सर सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो विल सी हाउ टू मेक गेम्स यूजिंग स्क्रैच सो वेरी फर्स्ट गेम मंकी कैचिंग एप्पल सो फर्स्टली हाउ टू मेक फर्स्टली वी हाउ टू ओपन एम लॉक फाइव एप्लीकेशन देन सी स्प्राइट्स सो इन दिस स्प्राइट वी नीड टू स्प्राइट्स फॉर आर गेम फर्स्ट वन इज एप्पल सो सर्च फॉर एप्पल मेक श्योर दैट यू हैव क्लिक ऑन स्प्राइट टैब so uh, see here sprite uh, tab, sprites tab is clicked so firstly let's apple uh, add apple and uh, one monkey sprite so i'll add a monkey 2 then uh, delete this default panda sprite okay let's uh, code for monkey first or we can add background also so click on background plus and Uh, see any beautiful background or we can choose any sky background so i'll add a uh, blue sky background so take this background and then click uh, on the monkey sprite so firstly we'll code for monkey sprite make sure that monkey to sprite is clicked here then uh, when green flag is clicked so add first control when green flag is clicked then set rotation style left or right right so in motion you will find set rotation style set rotation style left or right see like this we have to move this uh, monkey sprite left right so for that we have to set rotation style left right after that starting position so where monkey should uh, stay at the very beginning of the program so we can give any uh, point of coordinates so consider uh, x is minus 15 so add uh, from motion from the motion go to add x is equal to minus 15 or you can take uh, any co coordinates you want minus 135 then set size so here uh, as compared to apple monkey we have to reduce monkey size to 50% so go to looks block and then set size set is to 50% right after that take forever loop so we want uh, that the monkey should repeat uh, uh, one step when you press uh, left arrow it should move on the left side and when we are pressing right arrow it should move in right side so like this so we have to uh, make this step repeatedly so for that we have to use forever loop so i'll take one forever loop and in forever loop we have to take two conditions two if blocks like this okay in first if block when left arrow key is pressed so it means sensing when so i'll change it to left arrow key is pressed when left arrow is press is placed pressed then point in direction minus 90 so from the motion take point in direction minus 90 see minus why minus 90 see minus 90 is this direction so this is minus 90 direction means left side when left arrow is uh, key is pressed on keyboard then point in direction minus 90 and then after pointing in direction move 10 step so same like right when right key is pressed i mean right arrow is pressed so in sensing go to sensing and add when right arrow is pressed right arrow when right arrow is pressed then same point in direction but which direction that is plus 90 so plus 90 and move 10 step so like this so this code is for monkey only so let's test this code i'll press green flag and then i'll press left right buttons on the keyboard So see, we can clearly see we can move uh, sprite using left and right arrow key. So let's uh, write code for apple also, apple and uh, score. So we need score variable also. So we can see the running code or running score. So click on apple first. Make sure that you are you have click on apple. Then add code for score first. When green flag is clicked. 
uh, we need one variable so see here firstly click on variables then make a variable we need variable to store score score okay so when green flag is click set score to zero so may means initialization at the initial state the score must be zero we have to start from zero also right so when the apple uh, monkey will catch apple it will increase score by one so again here we have to use forever loop so in forever loop we can use if condition right if if what if touching monkey then if apple is touching monkey so from sensing we can take touching so if touching monkey to it means when apple so we are writing code for apple right so if apple is touching to monkey to then then what to do then change score by one so each time when one apple uh, catch by monkey it will increase score by one so change score by one so if apple is touching monkey then change score by one and go to random position again so for why random position because of because we need each time that am, apple will fall from random position like first time here then here then any position any random position so go to random position again then save set y to 180 set y to or we take one okay 180 so why 180 why see this direction is y direction so it means when apple will fall from the upward direction so we have to set y value to 180 so y in direction of 180 means to fall from random position above so why consider this position it may fall from this side from this side from this side from this side also so this is for apple apple should fall from any random position and it will gradually decrease the value of y so after that write code for score so this is for score write code for apple so when green flag is click go to event and add when green flag is clicked then again go to random position also so go to random position after that say set y to 180 so we know that value of y is 180 to set y is so set y to 180 so again take one forever block in that we have to gradually decrease y value see if apple is falling from upward to downward so gradually value of y is decreasing with the time so so we have to set change y by any value so from the motion take change y by so i'll take minus in minus we have to decrease so i'll take minus 10 so this so this value will affect the uh, falling uh, rate of apple so if a higher value in minus so it will far uh, fall from high fall at high speed so if take again one if block then from control take one more if block if y position is less than minus 170 so uh, you will find that block in operator so greater than less than these are all conditions we can find in operator so take less than operator after that change it to the minus 170 value and we have to compare it to the y position so in sensing sorry in motion take y so y position so we have to compare y position what is y position currently so again go to random position you you can find in motion go to random position and at the last set y to 180 again so each time apple is falling after the uh, apple is catch by monkey we have to set y value to 180 again and again so it, so it can fall again so set y to 180 set y to 180 so we'll test this code now so we, when green flag is click we'll press green flag c on the keyboard i am pressing right and left arrow so after pressing monkey is moving 10 step at each press and apple is falling at the rate of minus 10 so actually y is decreasing at the rate of minus 10 
सो इफ आई इंक्रीज वैल्यू ऑफ वाई और आई एड आई कैन डिक्रीज वैल्यू ऑफ वाई टू माइनस थर्टी सो वॉट विल हैपन सी द स्पीड ऑफ एप्पल्स सो इन दिस वे वी कैन मॉनिटाइज स्पीड ऑफ और वी कैन चेंज स्पीड ऑफ एप्पल्स फॉलोइंग एंड वी कैन ऑल्सो चेंज मंकी स्पीड टू मूव लेफ्ट एंड राइट सो इफ आई चेंज If you want to change monkey speed, then click on monkey, and then in that move twenty step at at each press. When I am pressing each left or uh, right key, so it will move twenty step at each press. When I am pressing, see this at this in this way, you can change any value of apple and uh, monkey speed. So like this, we can make uh, this monkey apple catching game. So I'll explain this code again now. See in apples. We have taken uh, one variable. Sorry, firstly take monkey's code. See, set firstly set rotation style to left and right. So it can it should move only left or right, not upward and downward direction. So after that, second line go to x and y coordinates. So before starting game, give any position for the monkey where it can stand first before moving. So set size size to fifty percent. So at initially we have seen the monkey size is bigger than apple so for that we have to set monkey size to 50% first then in for your loop if ki left arrow is pressed then point in direction minus 90 first and then move 20 step so we have uh, written same code for both direction left and right direction then after that see apple code so in apple code we have written firstly for score square set score to 0 then if apple is touching to monkey then change score by 1 then again go to random position i mean i'll stop this code now then go to random position any position and set y to 180 then after that when green flag is clicked go to random position set y to 180 and for your in for your loop change y by minus 30 so it can fall at the speed of 30 minus 30 so if If y position is less than minus one seventy, means less than minus one seventy, means below this line, below this line. So below this line, then go to monkey two, set y to one eighty. Then go to monkey two. So means then go to monkey two and set y to one eighty. So again, it will change y value to one eighty. It means apple go from this point to direct this point. So like this way, we can make this apple catching game. So that's all for this session we'll see we'll see next video in the next session till then goodbye keep learning